I am going to regret this, definitely. So, I'm doing a seven day challenge to learn to do the splits. It's not something I should ever be wanting to learn, but here I am anyways. I should never have actually done this. Ooh, my legs are getting a little tight. Hey, Meg. I'm stuck. Have you ever wanted to do something so badly only to realize seconds into it that you don't want to do it? Welcome to my seven day challenge to finally become a human crest. I've always wanted to be able to do the splits, but let's be real. I've been far too busy eating pizza and watching Netflix, but no more excuses. I'm ready to put in the work and become a pro at the splits. I'll be sharing my journey with you so you can laugh at my struggles and possibly learn a thing or two, but I'll do whatever it takes to finally achieve this long awaited goal. So let's get started to see if I can finally cut my toes without breaking a sweat. As I start this journey to learn the splits, I want to remind you all that I'm not alone in my struggles. Most people today struggle with a lot more than learning to do the splits. And let's be honest, people don't just randomly think up an idea and go, I know, I'll film it. So this video goes out to the person who's convinced that they're not flexible enough to do one or who just can't seem to get past their knees. We all have to start somewhere, even if it's a foot away from our toes. Okay, thighs, you've got seven days to go. Don't fail me. So we're gonna use these as my baselines because you need a baseline for everything if you wanna compare it, especially after only just a week. But here we go. This will be my side profile. Bending down to touch my toes. Here we go. Okay, like this is painful, but I'm not gonna go any farther, but it's painful. So that's a good baseline. The next one we're gonna do is the splits. Forgot what I was doing for a second on this challenge. We're gonna do the splits as my baseline, and we're doing it sideways, not like, you know, that way, we're doing it that way. Again, I'm not pushing myself. I need my loins to be good after day one. So, this will be my comfortable level. I feel like they're already screaming at me, so that's good enough. So, instead of you guys just watching me for the next 10 minutes do this routine, I'm just gonna put it on fast forward right now. Okay, that's stretching enough right there. That was 10 minutes. Let's do a test and see where 10 minutes costs in terms of flexibility on a side profile and on the splits. We're gonna do the side profile first. Now remember, I could not even touch the ground. Now where are we at? Well, my legs are straight and I can barely touch the floor. So 10 minutes of stretching alone is positivity right here, I tell ya. Now we're going to go for the split to see how far I can go. Remember, this was about the first time I did it, so let's see how far I can go now. I'm not going to push it because it's day one, obviously, but I would say that's an improvement of at least 10%, and my legs are a lot straighter. So, still burning like crazy on my inner legs and my inner thighs, but that's expected. But still, nonetheless, we've got an easily a 10% improvement here with my hands on the floor here. So that's a great way to end day one in regards to our stretching, stretching, splits, whatever we're doing. Okay, so day one is over in regards to splits. And I've got to say 10 minutes is not a long time, but in regards to flexibility and how far I actually came in that 10 minutes, really productive can't wait to see what day number two has in store if you want follow along even in with this go pause this video do your stretching for 10 minutes compare so just getting home from work and now we're going to be going off to do the splits uh, day two we'll see how it goes neighbor thinks i'm probably pretty weird holding a camera looking at them <laughs> Okay, here we go. Upstairs to do the splits. Uh, 
And I'm home. And there's Megan. Okay, here we are, back at home, getting the studio set up. So we're back for day two of seven, where I'm proving that just because you're a couch potato does not mean you cannot become a human pretzel. I'm gonna be focusing on flexibility training today, really opening up my legs, feeling the burn, hopefully I don't shed a tear or two. I'm gonna be focusing on a variety of exercises such as lunges, squats, forwards folds, and incorporating a lot of that into the hip and groin region because now it is time to turn my noodle legs into spaghetti legs. Now, one thing we're gonna make sure is certain is this mat knows who's boss, me. Hey. Eyes up here, I see where you're looking. You know, one thing I'm finding out with this challenge is to do the splits, you have to be extremely flexible. So my hats go off to all the gymnasts, ballerinas, anybody who can do the splits because for someone who's not flexible, this challenge over the next seven days is going to be hard. Okay, so the warm up is now done. We are now going to do a side by side comparison as we did yesterday. Side profile, splits doing this way as a start. Do my stretching, compare to see how day two is going. So here we go, this is day side number one. Two actually going down. Remember, yesterday I couldn't even touch my toes. I'm closer, but it still burns like crazy. Now we're gonna do sideways squats. And by squats, I mean splits. Now, again, like I said, I'm not gonna destroy my legs because we're only on day two, but I'm gonna keep straight legs like this. So definitely an increase in my leg length in the splits position with straight legs. You can see my legs are straight. So definitely an improvement there as opposed to yesterday. I feel like I'm almost starting off where I was yesterday now without actually having done the full stretching routine and practicing for the next 10 minutes. So that's a plus. Okay, so now the warm up portion is done. We're gonna really get into the big workout now for the next 10 minutes, including squats, lunges. We're really gonna help open up my groin and my hip muscles. And then we'll do a final test again after 10 minutes and compare to where we were the prior day. So further ado, gonna fast forward now. Okay, that's good enough for stretching for 10 minutes. Okay, we are done the stretching for day number two for the actual workout portion of it. So now let's do a test. We'll start with the side profile. I really feel like this is gonna be a lot, lot lower. So let's have a test. Remember, I couldn't even touch the floor. Look at that, I can get all my fingers on the floor. Yes, my knees are bent a little, so let's bring my knees straight, but still three fingers aside. That's progress right there considering before I was right up here. We'll see just how far I can go now. Yeah, remember we're gonna keep legs straight. Legs are straight. Woo! That is a bird! Oh! But it's farther! Ah, it's farther! It was farther. Oh! Well, that went better than I actually was expecting because, well, my splits were farther. How do you feel about it, Sean? Well, Sean, I feel pretty good about it too. How do you feel, Megan? Pretty good! Woo! She doesn't even know what she feels good about. So, we'll end it there. Conclusion, I went farther. Burned the hell out of my legs. I thought I was gonna snap a groin muscle there. Wouldn't have that been nice? So we'll see you guys for day number three because day number two is over. Day three and I've actually just finished at the gym. However, it was a leg day. So when I get home to start doing the splits, the stretching, the routine that I've been doing for the last couple days, it's gonna go two ways. It's gonna go terribly good, terribly bad. Terribly good being I can go farther in my splits, terribly bad because my legs are noodles, spaghetti, jello, you name it, they are it. I'm actually terrified to see which way this is going to go. 
Okay, so seeing that I've already done a workout at the gym, my legs are definitely warmed up. They got blood pumping in them. So I don't have to do the stretching portion here in regards to the warm up aspect, but I'll do my 10 minute stretching that's dedicated for the splits. Also doing my comparison of my side by side and the splits as well before and afterwards. Okay, let's straighten this mat out for y'all. So we're gonna do our side comparison to start. So here we go. Again, remember I have done legs already today, so I should be able to technically start farther down. Sort of lying to myself here because I can barely get to my toes, but nonetheless, I'm touching my toes. Now we'll start with the splits as an example. All right, so legs are straight. I'd say that's an improvement. Definitely an improvement from day one at a stationary before fully warming up. So now we'll get into the actual 10 minute stretch. So here we go. Okay, that is good enough for the 10 minutes there. Okay, that was actually a really good stretch. I tried a new one against the wall there. I just like gravity take a hold of me there. So now we're gonna test again the side and then we're gonna go for the full splits and go from there. We're gonna do the side one first. So remember I was able to touch the floor, but we'll see how much more I can touch the floor with straight legs. So that part didn't change that much, but I don't think I stretched my hamstrings as much as I wanted to. I'm, mo I'm mostly focused more on the groin this time. We'll do the split snap. Really hoping this one works better. All right, I would definitely say this is an improvement. Legs are on fire and screaming to me, but this is way farther than day number one for sure. Oh my God. Day number three is done, and there has been a significant improvement from day number one, as you can see here. This is day number one. This is day number three. Don't want to spoil it all because day seven has yet to come, and it's going to be a huge improvement at that point. But we're getting close to the 50% mark being done, so I just wanted to show you guys that even three days of you know, trying your best to learn how to do the splits, spending maybe 15 minutes a day practicing, can lead to improvement. Also, one thing I want to mention is the mentality game behind this. Yes, physicality wise, this is hard. Definitely stretching my muscles like no other, but the mental side of this is just as hard because after a long day of work, going to the gym, coming home and stretching and doing the splits, that's a lot of work. And also the pain of it. It's not comfortable by any means, but where there's a will, there's a way. When you set a goal, you have to mentally prepare yourself for it as well. So part of this challenge so far on day three, I'm finding is the mental aspect of it as well. So we're back and it's day four of our journey with the splits. You've probably realized by now that doing the splits is not an easy task. But, but don't worry, we're all in this together. The splits is a maneuver in which a person actually stretches one leg forward and the other leg backward, both legs straight feet pointed. This maneuver has been used for a long time in a variety of activities such as gymnastics, dancing, martial arts, cheerleading. It's a symbol of flexibility and balance and it's been utilized to demonstrate these qualities. It's been around for a long time, centuries, and it's actually still a really difficult technique to perfect. You've likely invested some time into this as I had also some energy too, and by this point you may be wondering, is it effective? Do I seem to be improving? Let's just say that progress isn't always made in a straight line. Two steps forward, one step back is the saying, but if you work hard and consistently, you will succeed. Also, let's face it, getting there is only half the battle. In addition to proving your ability to do the splits, practicing helps you develop willpower and mental toughness. So if you don't see the results, right away, try not to get discouraged. Remain persistent and keep in mind why you actually started this in the first place. And before you know it, you'll be bragging to all of your friends about your newly discovered flexibility. Remember that performing the splits will enhance your general well-being in addition to making impressions on others. Therefore, keep challenging yourself, be consistent, and don't forget to have fun. Day four was also a success. So, 
we've made it to day number five of learning to do the splits. I'm not sure about you guys, but working a long work week, coming home, going to the gym, and learning the splits takes a lot of work. But one of the things I really wanted to mention today is the perseverance of your mental strength. And I know I've said it once, but I'll say it again. Mental strength is just as important as your physical strength in learning to accomplish a goal. The splits for me is definitely something that takes a lot of mental strength. Physicality wise, I'm pretty strong. Mental wise, when the pain becomes a lot, it's a lot to handle. But with the perseverance of pushing through our demons in regards for me, it's the splits right now, I will succeed. It's just, are you willing to push past your limits to create an outcome? That's what we're finding out today. And what we're finding out for the whole week, actually. One of the things I'm finding out is the different variations of what type of exercises you can do to benefit yourself when learning to do the splits. For instance, doing splits in the air against a wall. I'm letting gravity take the effect of bringing my legs down, thus stretching my inner groin muscles, helping me do the splits better. As you can see, hopefully this view is PG appropriate. <laughs> For the stretching portions, always make sure to do that warm up. You don't want to tear something, won't be pretty. For the sake of your sanity, I'll fast forward this part. Okay, stretching is over. Alrighty, Rue. I know yesterday I could touch my hands to the ground. So again, we will try that same method for the side profile. Well, it's, it's easier, I would say, similar to the day before. Now we'll get into the nitty gritty of it, the splits. All right, day five of doing the splits that way, and we will see how far we go today. I'm gonna take my socks off actually because it just helps me get a little bit more grip. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe that even helps more. <laughs> Putting it out to the sock gods. Help me. So we're nearly at the sides of the mat. We'll see, ooh, how close we can get there, but I can safely stand up. It does stretch the benizers out of my inner groin. Oh my God! Oh! But my feet went farther than yesterday. Okay, splits are definitely harder than I thought they would be, but day five is over and I've done way better than day number one. I'm really excited for day number seven and just seeing the progress that I've made and I hope you've made some progress as well. We've come to day number six. One more day to go after this, but I thought I'd show you know, the simplicity of how easy it is to get started in doing something like this. So the obvious thing here is a yoga mat. Simplicity at its finest, but the bigger picture is doing it somewhere where you're comfortable that you can actually do the splits to the best of your abilities without you know, feeling like you're getting judged by society. I've attempted and tried many things throughout my life, some end on a positive note, others end on a negative. The important thing I wanna talk about here is emotional stability when taking on challenges like this. I've started reading a book called Mind Over Mood by Dennis Greenberger and Christine Paddley, and it's been really helpful in keeping my head in the game. The book teaches us how to change the way we think and feel about our challenges and how to develop a more positive mindset when learning these things. And I've learned through this that emotions play a big role in achieving our goals and how it's important to be aware of them and learn how to control them. One of the key strategies that the book presents is cognitive restructuring, which is a process of identifying and challenging negative thoughts that we have and you know, replacing them with more realistic and positive ones. By doing this, it can help reduce the emotional distress that's associated with negative thoughts and the benefits increase the chances of achieving one's goals. William James in the book says, the greatest discovery of my generation 
is that human beings can alter their life by altering their attitudes. The book is designed to help readers understand how their thoughts, feelings, and you know behaviors are all interconnected and how they can use them in this understanding to improve their emotional well-being, which then improves their goal setting and outcomes of the goals that they have set for themselves. Also, one of the things you should keep in mind when doing this activity is your food you're eating. Obviously, doing the splits on a full stomach is not going to help you in regards to your ability to be as flexible as you can. So try doing it in the morning when you wake up or at the very end of your night when you've had the opportunity to digest your food. Day six is over and we've got one day left to go for doing the splits. I'm excited that we're coming up to the final day because this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I'm not showing you guys how far I got today because I want to keep that a secret so that day seven comes as a total surprise from day one to day seven. Make sure to stick around to see day seven. You won't be disappointed. Okay, we are back and we have just completed a spin class. It's on a bike. We do it every Saturday for about an hour. It's a great way to set me up on my final day here to do the splits, the challenge that I'm showing you all with the progress that I've made. So as I've mentioned over the last seven days, I have made a considerable amount of progress for doing the splits. Spoiler alert, I'm not on the floor, but it's one week. It's not going to, you know, give me the opportunity to get flat, but progress has been far exceeding to what I thought I would do originally. Now, again, we are going to be doing a warm up stretch. That's what you have to do every time you do your stretches. This time we're gonna do again a 10 minute stretch after we've done the warm up. Then I will do the final show of the splits. I'm excited to see the results. One of the great stretches that really has helped me increase my length in regards to my splits is just putting your butt up against a wall and letting gravity take effect when opening your legs more. Definitely helps a lot. So warm up is now done. I'm going to get into the actual workout now. So the next time you see this, we're gonna be showing you day seven results. We're gonna do a little victory dance down to the floor here. Warm up is done. We are now going to do day seven of the splits and we are going to see how far down we go and then compare that to day number one. I'm excited, here we go. We're taking off the socks because we're talking to the sock god today to give me some grip to go farther. Don't know about you guys, but I'm nervous because I don't wanna rip a groin muscle, but I wanna to prove to you also that seven days of attempting to do the splits consecutively warm up Sticking to a routine can create results. So we're gonna go starting from the top, down, touching the toes from a side angle. Then we're gonna go into the full side splits. Compare day one to day seven. Here we go. Side profile coming down to you all. Vastly different from day one. Day one, I couldn't even touch the floor. So now I can almost get my hands pushed down where they're like multiple fingers. That's progress. Now we get to feel that build up, the splits. Now, remember, I could barely get to about here, to about here, this was day one. My goal today is to get my feet as close to these edges as possible. So here we go. I've got a toe, another toe. This is progress. Look at this, people, I'm holding it, it burns, but regardless, I'm gonna progress, I think I can go even farther. But that's it. That's the extent of it before my groins blow up, but, Progress over a week. Boom! Coming down is never ever easy. Wow. Woo! So, day seven is over. The splits exceeded my expectations on how far I could go. I had each toe touching each side of that yoga mat. And as you see from this beginning clip, they're not even close. I went a lot farther than I thought I would. Results here show that over a seven day period, you can make improvements. Was it easy? No. Mentally, no. Physically, no. But perseverance always pushes through when you set your mind to something. So the next time that you're trying to do something out in life, whether it's go to school, learn a new skill, 
a new job, take it with a grain of salt and know that things take time. Give it a week, give it two weeks. You will get it and you'll look back on yourself whether a week or a year from now and laugh at the amount of progress that you've had because it will be mind blowing. So results, splits were a success.